Anxiety is a thin stream of fear trickling through the mind. If encouraged, it cuts a channel into which all other thoughts are draining, was once said by author Somers Rachi. Anxiety is a mental disorder that almost everyone has felt at some point in their life. It may have caused you to worry about upcoming tests, while others, it causes them to worry about every situation they come across. This mental disorder is very dangerous to people and their mental health. There are many different ways to control anxiety. Some just find it difficult to see which way is best for them. Once they find a way to relieve their anxiety, people claim that their life becomes easier and that they're able to do more things without having that constant fear behind every thought. High anxiety is very dangerous, but there are many different ways to help control it and be free of this mental disorder. High anxiety is extremely dangerous and can cause many issues for your mental health and, depending on how bad it is, your physical health as well. There are many different types of anxiety, such as generalized anxiety disorder, or more commonly known as GAD, social anxiety disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, obsessive compulsive disorder, or OCD, phobias, and panic disorder. Each of these disorders affects a person differently, such as a severe case of OCD causes people to do everything exactly the same way. Nothing can be out of place or different. If it is not done a certain way, it can cause them to worry and basically panic because in their mind it was not done correctly and something is bound to go horribly wrong. But a severe case of social anxiety can paralyze them with fear of any sort of social interaction because they feel they will be mocked or judged. All of these anxiety disorders have one thing in common. They make the person they are affecting panic. These panic attacks won't kill you, but oftentimes having anxiety can, can lead to one having suicidal thoughts. This is why it is very dangerous for someone to have high anxiety. They feel that suicide is the only way out. Their anxiety tricks them into thinking that there is no help for them, that ending their life is the only way to cope with this terrible mental disorder. But that is never the case. And if your anxiety gets to the point where you feel you have no other options, you need to, you need to seek help immediately. There are many different ways to cope with anxiety. The hard part is finding out which way is best for you. Anxiety loves to feed off of negative thoughts and make the rough situation you are in seem worse than it actually is. One way to fight back against those negative thoughts is to ask yourself if they're actually true. It's important that you never let these negative thoughts and worries take control of you. You have to be the one in control or else your body will break down and make the situation worse. Deep breathing can also help with calming yourself down and being able to think clearly. By taking these nice, slow, deep breaths, you are slowing your heart rate to a pace where you can calm yourself down and think clearly. Another simple way is to grab a pen and a piece of paper and write your thoughts down. This way you can get whatever is on your mind out and onto the paper. You can always go back and read what you've written and can sometimes realize that what you were so worried about is actually not that bad. If none of these ways appeals to you or just can't help you cope, then all you have to do is find something to focus on that is not what is causing you anxiety, such as taking a walk, looking at the stars, talking to somebody. Just take your mind off of that. My brother, um, how he copes with anxiety is he talks to my grandma. It's really hard for, he likes to talk to her because my mom can sometimes not like to listen or doesn't like to show sympathy. So he knows exactly what she's going to say. It's all about finding out what is best for you. Everybody is different. That's what makes finding ways to cope difficult for some people. Even doing something as simple as playing with a fidget cube can help, as long as it's what works best for you. Going through treatment is very, very freeing, and people have claimed that once they found a way to cope, they were able to accomplish more with their life. Jeff White is one of these people. His testimony really shows readers that no matter how hard life gets, no matter how difficult your situation may become, there's always a brighter side, and that you can get through it. A couple of years after he was diagnosed, his wife left him, and his stepchildren stopped talking to him. He said that his life fell apart right before his eyes. His mental health was declining, he lost his job, and his family. He was unsure of what, what his life would become. He claimed that his way of coping was through God. He found his strength through God, and his life has never been the same. He has now stopped taking his medication and feels so much better. His testimony is living proof that once you find your coping mechanism, you can be free and start living your best life. Things will usually get worse before they ever get better. Sometimes you have to hit rock bottom before finding a way back up to the top. But you have to remember that there is a brighter side to every situation. It just might be hidden by a few clouds. Just, just like Jeff White said, he was first diagnosed with anxiety and then his life slowly fell apart until he became close to God and was healed from this mental disorder.
Never giving up is the most important part of overcoming anxiety. Once you let it take complete control of you, there is no going back. You have to fight hard until the end to get through it, but it will be worth it. You will come out so much stronger than you were before you went in, and your life will never be the same.